My name is Mark Azan. I'm a professor of electrical engineering at MIT. And one of my primary research areas relates to the theory and applications of magnetic liquids, a synthesized fluid. A fluid that, when stressed by a magnet, tends to create interesting hydrodynamic uh, phenomena. Magnetic fluids are a synthesized fluid composed of 10 nanometer magnetic nanoparticles coated with a surfactant to stabilize it within a host liquid. Typically, uh, such fluids are water-based or oil-based. After the BP oil disaster about two years ago in the Gulf of Mexico, I got the idea that if the oil were magnetic, we would be able to remove it with strong magnets and separate it from the uh, water. When oil spills occur, a lot of the oil sinks, and then the, most of the oil spill technology deals with the oil that's floating on top, and it really spreads far and wide. The current oil spill technology, like skimmers, they're very good in calm waters, but in choppy waters, their efficiency, their oil recovery efficiency is about 50%. So whatever they recover from the seawater would be half oil, half water. And our technology is supposed to um, improve that efficiency. It's going to be an add-on to that efficiency. And what ours would do is collect that 50% of oil or water in a confined space, and then you'd put magnetic nanoparticles that like the oil, so it makes the oil magnetic. And then you would separate the oil, the magnetic oil from the water phase. So you get clean water, and then you get the magnetic oil. And then you, you using existing technology, you can actually remove the magnetic nanoparticles from the oil and send the oil to uh, a refinery, or you can recover the oil. When an oil spill occurs, it's actually easier to burn the oil because it's just spread so far, but it's a big environmental disaster already, and then you're burning it. Another thing they do is they collect the oil and water, and um, they collect in these big tanks, and they let it uh, settle due to density differences. But that takes a long time. What ours does is, because of magnetic forces, you can separate the two very quickly, because the forces are so much stronger than density. And um, that's the advantage. You can actually process this much faster and continuously without any real um, power being expended. 